Hi everyone. Um, I'm not in like the best of moods, but it's okay. So I was getting all ready and I was gonna like do a video. And I have like all these notes. It was gonna be a really awesome one. Then I was doing my makeup and I got to thinking, which my little brain shouldn't be allowed to get to thinking. But it did. Cause I realized it's been like, probably like a week, maybe. Since I've talked to another human soul that wasn't, like, paid to talk to me. You know. Whatever. Is part of that my own fault for pushing people away? Yeah, it is. That's alright, you know. The whole part of, like, being used. People only talk to you and they want something. Hurts more than this whole loneliness part and whatnot. That's okay. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll figure things out. If... Colored, like, 16 color things. I don't know. I gave up. My point is, this whole negativity, like, this whole no negativity stuff on, like, social media, mostly Facebook. I agree there needs to be a line, but it also needs to stop. Everybody stops paying attention to people as soon as they say one little negative thing about their lives. Guess what? Life isn't perfect. You know that meme? I mean, I'll put it in here if I can find it, because it's probably there somewhere. That says, like, may your life be as fantastic as you make it seem on Facebook. It's true. Everybody makes their lives look perfect on Facebook and all that kind of stuff, you know? And some things are not of anybody else's business. That's, that's definitely true. But if you're having a bad day, if, you know, whatever, you can be not happy. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to ask for help. It, but apparently, this is a big no-no. And I'm tired of it. And I'm addressing it. Are people going to be mad at me for being negative? Sure. You guys are all mad at me for everything. There's nothing in this world that I can do that's going to make everybody happy. And there's nothing in this world that any of you can do to make everybody happy. That also goes for politics, so stop yelling about them. I don't know. Hmm. But I don't know how else to put it out there. I am alone, mostly, for, you know, it's okay, again. I'm walking away from everybody out there that only calls me up, only talks to me when they want something. When they need something, when I can give them something. That's not how friendship works. Friendship goes both ways. And um, it's always been like a one-sided thing my whole entire life. And I put a post this morning again that I've never been, you know, anybody's number one. And I don't think I ever will be. Usually I'm okay with it because I kind of like, you know, put it back in the back of my mind. But I'm weird. And I know it. I'm odd and I'm different. But I also like who I am. And am I going to try to pretend to be somebody else? for to No, because then you're not being yourself. And then, you know, underneath it all, you're not happy anyway. So, just be you. If you happen to be the lone wolf watching this, you know, come, come join my clan, man. I mean, whatever, you know, do you. Do whatever you want to do with your own life. Stop blaming everybody else for your problems. And, you know, I was guilty of this, you know, for, for a very, very long time. Definitely. Am I now? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, nobody's perfect. Everybody has bad days. When you have a bad day, what are you supposed to do? You can't just sit there and brood about it. That's how bad things were, you know, news event happens, you know. They sit there with all this negativity, all this anger inside of them, and they've got no one to listen to them. they got nowhere to go. And then one of these days, they just explode, and, you know, people end up dying. Maybe their anger is misplaced and all that kind of stuff, but how the heck are they supposed to know? Because nobody's asking them. Nobody's talking to them about anything. So... I don't know where the line is between, you know, like, being a drama queen and wanting attention 
and then just, you know, just saying that you don't feel good or you're confused or you're upset or hurt. But there needs to be one somewhere and I'm not going to be the person to bring it up because I'm not the kind of, I just don't have the ability to figure that out. But I'm trying my best. I'm being me. I am not the same person I was years ago. I'm definitely not the same person I was eight months ago. Does anybody take the time to figure that out? Not really. A few. Yeah. But in reality, no. And I came to this realization a while back. So if anybody's ever heard me talk about the fact that I panic in the shower and we didn't know why. This is why. So, yes, when I take my glass, like right now I have contacts on. But, you know, if I shower with no glasses, because I don't usually wear contacts. My eyes are very different, so I'm very unsteady. But my point is that if something were to happen to me, if I were to fall in the shower and get hurt, or even in my house, because, by the way, I pass out all the time. Does anybody care or anybody look into it? No. Have I given up on trying to get help on that? Yeah. I mean, my kidneys and liver were failing for two years and, you know, the doctors even didn't do shit about it. That's a whole other story that apparently I'm not supposed to complain about that either. Like, everybody's like, count your blessings. Hold up. I am counting my blessings. Because if I'm going to count all the negative things in my life, trust me, they outweigh the good ones by about 10 million. I decide to look at the good things, you know, in order to keep myself sane. But, I mean, I could complain way more. I just don't, because nobody gives a shit. But my point of all that is I'm here alone. If anything ever happened to me that I would, like, fall or, or get hurt or fall in the shower and couldn't get up or whatever, nobody would notice. I literally, like, okay, and nobody call the cops because this isn't a threat. It's just a point out a fact I would have time to die in my house and probably start decomposing before anybody would notice that I'm not around I don't have nobody talks to me nobody calls me yeah it's kind of my fault again for clearing out my Facebook friends list and taking off all the people that only call me when they want something but again, if I'm supposed to wait for someone to call me to check in on me because they want something, I could still have time to die before that person calls and asks. So, negativity isn't necessarily bad. Being a drama queen sucks. Nobody wants to see a drama queen. Nobody gives a crap. And there's a lot of people that have told me like, holy crap, you have a lot of problems. Actually, yeah, I do. I have a lot of them, and a lot of them that I've never been allowed to speak about. And I'm 35. And now, I don't give a crap. If it's going to ruin the family name, who the fuck cares? It happened to me. It didn't happen to any of you. But, oh no, let's not ruin the family name, and let me suffer in silence. So yeah, I've been living with that for my whole life. So underneath it all, there's a lot of pain and a lot of hurt and stuff in there. I bring it out the wrong way. I don't know. Because there's things that I'm not supposed to talk about. Guess what? I don't give a crap. It might come out. But still, it still goes back to the whole thing. Like, where are people supposed to go to talk about the fact that they're sad? That something happened? Not everybody has family that's there for them. Not everybody has friends that are there for them. In fact, a lot of people have no one. I happen to be one of those people. I deal with it in my own way. Whatever. But just maybe try to be nicer to people, you know? You don't have to be sunflowers and daisies every single day. Every single post on Facebook doesn't have to, like, rain positivity. It's okay to have a bad day. Everybody has a bad day. Everybody has something in their lives that's going on that's either hurtful, 
you know, horrible whatever. Some people are dying of cancer and silently suffering because nobody gives a crap that, you know. If you're dying of cancer or you're going through that, you're allowed to be negative. I mean, that's like your cup blanche. Like, you know, go for it. Whatever. Just stop ignoring it. If you find somebody to be a drama queen, okay, that's up to you to decide if someone's a drama queen or not because I have no idea where that line is. Apparently, I'm, I'm considered one. Uh, but just, and don't do this for me, okay? I'm not asking for anybody to contact me, ask me questions. I'm not trying to get more friends. I'm not trying to get pity. I'm, I'm cool with life. I'm just thinking about all the other people out there that are in my situation that might not have the resolve that somewhere is in there I found. I mean, where this comes from, I have no clue. I don't care. Okay, I do know where it comes from, but we're not going to get into the man above. All right, that's for me to believe in and you to make your own choices of it. But some people just can't keep all that in. Please help them. Ask them if they're okay. I'm not saying that you have to fix their problem. But if they, they're not okay, get them help. And if you don't know how to get them help, that 811, like telecare, it will do it. You can call and you can say, my friend, my neighbor, it can be anonymous. I think they're in need of help because these are their Facebook posts. I talked to them and they said this. I think they need a counselor or they need somebody to check in on them. They'll send someone. They'll never know it came from you. And then, you know what? You can wash your hands and walk away because you at least help them. And then if you want to block them because they're drama queen and you're tired of hearing them, do so. But if you help them in the in-between, you are a hero. You're amazing. So please let people vent a little. Help out. Don't ignore people who are telling you that they're sad, that there's something going on in their life. Talk to them. Just try. Don't let them, don't, don't leave them hanging. Just don't leave them there by themselves. So, yes, a bunch of you guys got a bunch of Snapchats today. I'm telling it as it is. If you're the type of person that's only been talking to me, and there's a bunch of you, because you want something, and I know it sounds like I'm talking about, like, you know, adult stuff, that's in there too, I'm gonna admit it. Some people call me just for that. Will they admit in real life that they actually know who I am? No. Why the heck am I putting myself through that? I'm worth more than that. Heck no. This is done. I'm me. You're not... What? I don't know. I don't understand how why, like... I've let myself be that person. But as ashamed of it as I am, I'm still going to publicly say it because I don't want anybody else to be sitting in that seat and not speak up for themselves. If you think that people are only talking to you because they want something out of you, either money, drugs, sex, favors, whatever it is, let them go. Let them be who they want to be and walk away. Because as I started, I will end. I am way better with the pain of being alone and lonely and not having anybody give a crap if I'm still alive or not than I am with the hurt that it causes when I realize the people that are around me don't really want to be around me. They, they want something, but they're more annoyed than anything else. And they just can't wait to get out of my presence as soon as they get what they want. That hurts way more than just being alone and, ha and trust me. Alone is better. And yes, all of those people out there that are contacting me because I'm Stephen Pettipaw's daughter, that's why my last name isn't on Facebook, okay? And I don't care if you have problems because you dated my brother. I haven't spoken to anybody on my dad's side, I don't know, like 16 or 18 years. I have no idea what any of my brothers are up to. 
One of them doesn't even want to talk to me. And, you know, that's fine. We don't know each other. Like, it's it's a bloodline, whatever. Who cares? But don't talk to me just because he's my dad. That's why my last name isn't on Facebook. And do I have anything against my real dad, by the way? I don't know. I don't know the man. I didn't really get to know him that much as a child anyway. And as I got older, he doesn't agree with my life. And for some reason isn't part of it, but that's his choice. His wife tried, to, but he himself has never called me up and be like, hey, what's up? So until that day happens, I don't know. So stop, I'm just tired of people asking me how he's doing or what he's up to, because I've got no clue. And then I also get messages from people that were, that have a better relationship with him as a father-daughter relationship that hurts, okay? Don't tell me that crap. And that song that I shared, I'll share the link again. Um, crap, I can't remember what it was. It was a Shine Down song. It's a new song. There's a warning in, in YouTube. There's nothing graphic about it. It's that the song is about suicide. About how you're worth it. Don't go there. You've got more than you think that you have to live for. And I recommend that song to everybody because it's been on a repeat for like an hour. Um, I don't know how to buy songs online because I, I don't want to do that. Um, I don't know how to illegally download anything either, by the way. I never knew how, never wanted to, whatever, not the point. But listen to that song. I'll share it. It's on my page. I'll link it down here. It's so inspirational and it just gets you at the heartstrings because it, if any, you don't even have to be at the bottom point. It's just going to make sense to anybody who's going through a rough time in life. And again, it's okay to say that you're not happy. It's okay to not be sunshines and daisies all the freaking time. If anybody, I think that's the big problem. Since we're not supposed to be negative ever on Facebook, everybody's comparing their lives to all the pretend perfect lives they see on Facebook. Let's just stop this whole cycle. Again, I don't know where the line is for drama queens because yes, there are some out there. There's people that just want attention. I, I know that. I'm aware. Am I one of them? No. Do you think I am? Yes, because you don't know the whole story. Has anybody ever asked me the whole story? Or asked for context? No, because you don't care. Not the point. That's not the point. And it's too late to start caring now. But for everybody else out there, please care about them. Like your neighbors. Check in on them. Forgive my alarm. My computer reminds me to do stuff because I forget everything. But my point is, like, my neighbors across the street. I only know her because I see her out there shoveling in the winter. Um, this, the... Snowplow man. I can't remember the word. You know, snowblower guy. Comes up, he does the whole thing, but real close to the garage door that he can't get. So she shovels that out. And she, you know, I go help her. And she's this kind, loving... She's sweet. And she's smart. Like, she's totally in life. Um, She's 84. And her two older sisters live with her. And every time I see the ambulance there, my heart just drops. Because unfortunately, they're kind of there a lot. And I feel like, oh, I'm so scared. Like, I want to go over and, like, see if they're okay. But I don't know them more than, like, when I help her shovel her driveway. But not the point. Just look out for everybody. Care about everybody else. We all have to love each other. Because if everybody's out for themselves and nobody thinks about everybody else... Our society is going to, like, just keep going down. Because we're, we're already in that part where everybody's like, me, me, me. What about me? What about me? What about me? I understand what about you. But we all have to matter. We're all eating out of the same pie. And no, life isn't fair. So someone's going to get more than you. However, they might only look like they're getting more than you. Because... There's sunshine and rainbows on Facebook. 
but maybe behind it all, their life is total shit. But will they admit to that? No. So, don't judge. And again, if somebody needs help, please help them. If you think they're a drama queen, there's actually nothing wrong with addressing the fact that, hey, like, personal messages, okay? Not publicly, like people do to me. But again, sometimes I ask for it, so. Or so I've been told I ask for it. Either way, you know, public, like, private message them, like, are you alright? Like, you kind of, like, sound kind of poopy lately. Um, another person in my life that only calls me when they want something, I ask them that question, like, hey, like, you sound pretty down. They're like, oh, I wasn't aware that all my posts sounded negative, and they weren't. They were perfectly fine. So, and to that person, yeah, don't try to talk. No, that can work. But it's okay to not always be the happiest person in the world because life happens. It's unfair. Nothing ever goes our way. We haven't all won the lottery. Even if we did, trust me, it wouldn't solve our problems. We think it would, but it wouldn't. Just be patient. Love everybody. Stop expecting. I don't know what you're all expecting. And I'm in this place where, you know, I'm I'm learning about life. And, you know, people change. People grow up. We all learn things about other people. Sometimes people's true colors shine through and they're not pretty. Either way, you know, just stop trying to be, I don't know. Don't use Facebook as a reflection of how your life is going and how everybody else's life is going because they're all freaking lying. It's lies. They're pretending that their life is good. Nobody cares. No one's going to care because as soon as I stop writing positive stuff, nobody talks to me. But when I've got nice positive things that I'm making shit up, by the way, well, not really, but, you know, I put a little spin on it to make it sound better than it really is. People are all like, oh, you're so great. Let's hang out. We're cool. No. Let's stop pretending. Either way, I mean, I know some of you guys out there do like me and you love me and you're my friends, you know, and you, you're busy with your lives and we're not super close and that's okay. You know, we, but why can't I just have like one friend? One? Is one too much to ask for? Like, I've been saying this anecdote, I think it's called an anecdote, since I was about 16. I want to be the person that someone calls when their pet turtle dies. Like, the first person they call when they have anything. Good, bad, whatever. I'm never the first person to know. Never. And I had little you know, my best friends from high school. Things have changed. And they were really, really hurt when I was like, you know what? This, this isn't working for me. Because they didn't get it. Like, one of them had been engaged for like months. And nobody told me about it. I kind of like learned to buy it on a whim. They bought a car. I had no idea. They told me about it like months later. What? It was, that's, again. Or maybe I just don't understand how friendship works. Maybe I have it wrong. Because I do know this whole thing. And I'll put that picture in here. How, well... It's a metaphor. How the porn industry has ruined romance. Because all the guys expect women to act like they do in porn. And all the women expect men to act like Disney movies. <laughs> and neither one of them are the same. They're two complete opposites. Um, but I think maybe I'm in that place with friendship. Maybe I think friendship is something that... That it's not. But either way, I will figure that one out on my own. However, I am no longer going to be on call for when people need a friend. I'm not a dial a friend. I'm a person. So please just let 
people say what they want. Don't hate somebody because they're having a bad day. Let, let's let start a trend where people can actually say how they feel and not get piled on with 10 pounds of crap. It's okay to not be happy. It's okay to not like one of your family members. It's okay to, I don't know, not be happy with your government, even though that's a whole other thing. But again, it's all right. Your opinions, again, it goes back to this. You can have an opinion. You can also have feelings. They're yours. They belong to you. Nobody can tell you that what you're feeling or what is wrong. They can help you understand that you're understanding the situation incorrectly. Therefore, you know, you shouldn't feel that way. But just telling somebody that they don't feel that way is stupid. Because yes, they do feel that way. And also trying to tell somebody to stop thinking about the things that hurt their feelings is also dumb. It doesn't work. It doesn't change anything. Because if we could all just stop thinking about the things that hurt our feelings, all those mass murders and shootings and crap wouldn't have happened. So, how to end this? I have no idea. Is anybody going to watch this? Probably not. You're probably not to this point. You've probably given up a long time ago. Fine. <laughs>